Hey everybody, this is Keith and I'm coming to you today from the Passport Mini of Alexandria service lane to answer some questions about the installation and some of the features of the rear mounted bike rack system for the Mini Cooper Countrymans and 2014 and newer Minis. So when you get your rear mounted bike rack system, it'll come completely assembled inside of the box and installation is extremely easy even for one person to do and I'll show you how to do that right now. You're gonna start by removing the tow hook covers on the rear bumper system. You'll push on the outer edge of this circle here and it'll come out. Now this has a safety tether. I recommend completely removing these and putting them in a safe place so they don't get lost or damaged. So the first thing you'll wanna do is remove these cam locks here. These are going to tighten down on the installation bolt so that it doesn't rattle loose while you're, while you're driving. And on the right side cam, you'll notice there's a plate that covers the bolt head and a lock. This allows the bike rack to be securely locked to the vehicle so that you don't have to worry about anybody stealing your bike rack system or your bikes when it's installed. So you'll unlock. And this will expose the bolt head so that we can install the system. So we've opened the cam locks and we removed our covers for where the system will install into our rear bumper. The next step is gonna to be to lift the system up and install it onto the rear bumper. And as big as this thing is, it is actually very light. So it, again, like I said, it's easy for one person to install by themselves. And I'll show you how. And carefully guide these pins in so that you don't scratch your bumper. And once you've put it on there, it will hold itself up. We have the system resting in the mounting holes. We're gonna take the two tools that come with the kit, which is a large Allen wrench, and this pole that they give you to get some extra leverage on this small Allen wrench. Uh, we're gonna use these to tighten the system up. And in order to do that, we're gonna tighten a little bit on each side as we go while lifting up on the system to relieve the pressure off of the bolt threads. And I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So I generally go two to three turns at a time, a little bit on this side and then a little bit on, on the other side. And the reason we do this is so that the bike rack system gets pulled evenly in as we go so that no cross threading or misalignment happens. All right, now both sides are snug and we're gonna take the provided pole to get some additional leverage to really tighten the system down to keep it from coming loose while you're driving. You don't need a tremendous amount of pressure. You don't need to stand on it or anything like that. The, the extra leverage you get with the pole will be plenty with some light downward pressure. Now that the bolts are snug, we're going to go ahead and close those cam locks that I showed you earlier. This is going to clamp down on the bolt and aid in not allowing it to come loose again. And on this side with the key, we'll give it a quarter turn there. And now the system is secured to your vehicle and cannot be removed until you unlock it again. Now we got the system installed on the vehicle. I'm going to show you how to set it up for, you, for your bike. But today we're going to use the mini accessory bike available on our online store as well. So the steps I'm going to show you are to install our bike here. Uh, when you set it up for your particular bike, you won't have to adjust any of this stuff again. So just remember that, you know, your bike goes on the inside and her bike goes on the outside. Your bike, the kid's bike. Um, I would recommend putting the smaller bike closest to the vehicle and I'll show you why shortly. Uh, but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to fold this system up and lock these two cams into place. This is gonna allow this extension to stay up where it's supposed to. Now the next thing you're gonna do is you'll probably have these straps installed like this. You're going to uh, push down like this 
to release the cam and you'll be able to pull this out of the way. And then these rotate down so that they'll be out of our way while we're trying to put the wheels into these wedges and I'll show you that in a moment. So we've already got that done here. Now we'll take our bike and place the wheels into the wheel wedges and that's gonna allow the bike to not move forward and backwards and it'll keep it nice and secure. All right, now that we got the bike sitting up here, we're gonna take this shorter arm for the inside bike and wrap this strap through the frame. Um, they provide you with this little rubber piece here that's gonna protect the paint and finish on your, on your top tube of your bicycle there. And then we'll stick this through like this. Until it's tight. Now, using the same key that we used earlier to lock the system to the vehicle, we'll lock the bicycle to the system. And now your bike is secured to the vehicle through the system. Once you've got the top tube secure, you'll move down to the tire wedges and slide the plastic straps through the rim. And you can get it as tight as you can with your hand. And then after that, you can ratchet this. I'd probably say just one or two clicks and it'll, it'll be tight enough. It's not really gonna go anywhere. And we'll repeat the process on the front. And one, two, and the bike is installed. Now you've gotten to your favorite trail and you wanna remove the bike from the system come down to the tire wedges here and push down on the cam system. That's going to release the plastic strap. You can fish it through there and rotate the strap down so it's out of the way. Repeat the process on the rear. Push down. Pull the strap out there. Now you've released the tires from the tire wedges. You'll take your key and unlock the cam and push back on this gray lever here. for your ride. So a lot of people might be asking, you have this nice system on the back of the vehicle here, but now I can't get into the back of my Mini Cooper to put my helmets and extra gear and my hydration system, but Mini made provisions for that. We're going to push down on this safety lock here and step down on this bar and the whole system shifts down like this. Now we have plenty of room to access the back of the vehicle. 